go ahead. Okay, we're on um, another epic trip today. Um, I think it's the murder capital of Pennsylvania, or maybe the United States, I don't know. Uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. We're gonna hit the Goodwill outlet. I, th I believe you can buy clothes for 99 cents a pound, so it'll be worth the trip. It's hard to believe, looking in the background, that we're actually going to Reading, because there's just a bunch of cornfields and crap over here, but um, hopefully it's a good trip. So, um, pretty excited. It's Monday after the Jets won their first game. They squeaked it in, and um, you know we'll, we'll hit you with the pickups there. In Reading, it's about to go down in there, man. It's crazy. It's like a, I don't even know. There's just going to be clothes everywhere. Just fill up a basket. Weigh it at the end. Hopefully you grab some gems. You know, it's going to be epic. Give you a little sneak peek of the madness up in this place. I'm going to, I'm hitting you with the long angle because I'm going to pretend like I'm not on my phone. So hold on for a second. Inside the uh, outlet. As you can see, let's go there some trainers. What do we got? There's my girl over there. How's it going over here? That guy in the hat over there, he's a beast. He's just grabbing everything. Pushing people off. Everything. It's crazy. I have to take a little break from the action in there. It's like a it's like a riot in there. People bumping elbows, pushing people out of the way. It's like a free for all. It's, it's crazy. I guess it's like um you get up to 79 cents a pound if you buy 50 pounds. But um, about to take a little uh, break, a little intermission here, go back in. You know, it's like it's like playing ball in there, posting up, spinning around, doing spin moves, dunking on people. It's crazy. Weighed like kind of a preliminary weight. That's about 20 pounds of clothes, and we'll probably be a little over 20 bucks for all that. Um, got like a it's a starter blood so. A little Abercrombie coat, yeah, vintage Wizard of Oz clock. That's a that's a Jordan that's a Jordan coat. I, I don't want to pull it out though. Let me see. Got some Budweiser shit. It's a couple snapbacks in the bottom. There's some dead. I got a dead stock. Dead stock Orioles. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of crap in here. It's gonna be about 20 bucks for all of that in this place here. And there the guy is again, see him on the phone, that guy's a, he's a monster, it's crazy. Okay, just had to show the Reading Zuba's hat, and I got this back in the 90s, when I was at a Reading game with my pops. Um, it's just fitting that I work, because I went to, to Reading today to get um, get some gear, hit the, um, the Goodwill outlet, got a lot of stuff, this isn't even all of it, I'm going to go through it really quick, I'm not going to waste all your time, but let me start off. Um, Looks a little rough, but this is a Silk Bomber. Got that one. Got a Jaguars crew neck, Nike, Pro Line. Uh, Jordan jacket. Nice Carolina blue colors. Vintage Redskin shirt. Got this uh, Boo Boo Pitbull shirt. It's pretty sick. All over. Uh, Hershey. This is just a local team, but that's pretty cool. Her, um, Hershey Bears, and then um, got this guy's number, and then there's an autograph on the back, I don't know who. A vintage Budweiser shirt. Um, this is, I think it's a vintage uh, Levi's uh, bandana. I, I grabbed that. Not really, I don't wear Abercrombie, but I know it's just worth a lot, so this is a nice Abercrombie coat, it's like brand new. And everybody's got these out here. It's like brand new. These are like dirt cheap. There's, um, got this. It's a '87 Villanova um, Seniors Week. It's a Screen Stars tag. So nice and thin. Oklahoma Sooners crow neck. I don't know. I guess some girl wants to get crazy and wear a denim looking crazy thing. Got that. This is another. Really nothing crazy, but it's a Screen Stars. I like Screen Stars shirts. They're soft, so. Worst case, I'll just wear it. Another 
uh, Navajo print, uh, kind of like a, I don't know, it's almost like a denim type of material. Pretty sick Hawaiian, Hawaiian style shorts. Look at those, nice and short. A lot of not stuff that's not vintage, but you might as well grab it if it's so cheap. Um, Under Armour shirt, uh, Protect This House, some guy in the back. Starter. I hate the Patriots, by the way, I'm a Jets fan, so I hate buying this stuff, so I sell it cheap. The Patriots, number 11, Drew Bledsoe, pretty nice, everything's all sewn on. Starter, um, classic team collection. This is also, I grabbed this because it's a Screen Stars, and it's a Hard Rock Cafe Paris. Um, nice little USC Trojans. Has um, the felt and little patchwork. Dead stock Oriole shirt. Um, I don't know how you see this guy's name. I stopped watching wrestling, but John Sienna, whatever. It's a jersey tag, so it's vintage. And last but not least, my favorite pickups the surf style. These things are crazy. I never had one, but it wasn't really my style. But it's pretty cool looking at it now. And that's pretty much all we got today. I mean, it was like crazy in there, people were throwing elbows, and I mean, it was crazy. I mean, it's definitely worth going there. I mean, you got to hustle when you're in there. It's, uh, it's a work. It's exhausting. Um, it's like a free-for-all, that's all I got to say. And, you know, it was fun. I mean, I won't be going there every day, but, I mean, that's just part of what we got. And, I mean, I think we spent, like, all together, like, 27 bucks, and that included a couple uh, personal pieces we got in there. So, all right, that's it. That was the day out in Reading. The Google Outlet, and that's what we got right there. All in one shot. Peace.